Hi everyone, I'm Paige and today I'm going to demonstrate this remote control slider in combination with our 26 series gun and the Pulse 220 MTS machine. We're going to do some post aluminum MIG welding inch coupons right here. I'm using 4043 filler wire, real smooth, and we're going to lay down some pretty beads. I recommend using a slider for any pulsed aluminum MIG application because of how much control it allows you to have while you're welding without going to and from the machine. Using this slider allows you to adjust your settings in real time to get a manual hot start or to fill a crater at the end of your weld. If you weld half an inch and you realize that that weld is too cold and then you try to tie into that last weld and keep moving for the rest of that pass, that restart is a stress point. And if that weld is going to crack, it's going to crack at that restart. So if you're able to change your settings while you're welding, you mitigate making that kind of error. When I weld with a slider on the gun, Pulse Make Aluminum, I always wear a TIG glove on my hand that's going to be holding the gun because I have more dexterity. The thinner leather means that I can feel the slider better. The same way that you don't want to stomp into a TIG pedal, you don't really want to yank this all the way back. You can move very slowly. If you look at the screen here, you can see that when I pull back on the slider, all of my settings go down because we're in a synergic program, so they go down in ratio. And when I push up on the slider, you can see these settings go up as well. If you look closely at the display, there's a, a red and black R. This red and black R indicates that you do have a remote control attached right here on the machine. You want to be running 100% argon gas between 40 and 50 CFH because we are in pulsed spray transfer. Here you could see I'm at about 42 CFH. If you're watching this with headphones, I recommend turning down your volume because the pulse spray arc is a very high pitched sound. The next video will show me welding in real time. Make sure to watch my thumb pulling back the slider. Also pay attention to the change in pitch when I move the slider. The resulting weld looks pretty good. It's consistent, there's adequate cleaning action above and below this weld, there's no soot on it, I didn't wipe anything off when I took this video. However, you can see that I did burn through at the end when I was trying to fill the crater. I should have backed off that slider a little bit more because there's way too much heat towards the end. That's all I have for you today on the remote control slider on our 26 series gun with the Pro Pulse 220 machine. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment and maybe we can cover that topic in a future video. Thank you.